Conversations with Kasru, Learning English with Aiden. Episode 1, Introducing Kasru and Aiden. Welcome to Conversations with Kasru, the podcast where we dive into engaging and educational dialogues between Kasru and his son Aiden. This series is designed to help you improve your English listening and comprehension skills in a fun and relatable way. Each episode features everyday conversations that you can use to enhance your vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy learning English with Kasru and Aiden. In today's episode, we'll be joining Kasru and Aiden in their living room as they discuss various topics ranging from school activities to weekend plans. Let's listen in and learn together. Hey, Aiden, how was school today? Hi, Dad. School was good. We had a science experiment that was really fun. We made a volcano erupt with baking, soda, and vinegar. That sounds exciting. Can you tell me more about the experiment? Sure. We used a plastic bottle, some baking, soda, and vinegar. First, we put the baking, soda inside the bottle, and then we poured the vinegar in. The reaction created a lot of bubbles and foam that shot out of the bottle like a real volcano. Wow, that's a great way to learn about chemical reactions. Do you remember? What causes the reaction between baking, soda, and vinegar? Yes, our teacher explained that baking, soda is a base and vinegar is an acid. When they mix, they create carbon dioxide gas, which makes the bubbles. Very impressive, Aiden. It sounds like you're really enjoying your science class. I am, Dad. Science is one of my favorite subjects. That's wonderful to hear. Science helps us understand the world around us. Do you have any other subjects you like? I also like math and history. Math is challenging but fun, and history is interesting because I get to learn about different times and places. Those are great subjects too. Math teaches you problem-solving skills. And history helps you understand how past events shape our present and future. Speaking of the future, do you have any plans for the weekend? I was thinking about going to the park with my friends. We want to play soccer and maybe have a picnic. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Fresh air and exercise are always good. Just remember to stay safe and look after each other. We will, Dad. Thanks. As we listen to Kasru and Aiden's conversation, let's take a moment to highlight some key phrases and vocabulary that can help improve your English skills. One, experiment, a scientific test to discover something. Two, erupt, to explode or burst out. Three, chemical reaction, a process where substances combine and change. 4. Carbon dioxide, a gas produced by the reaction of baking, soda, and vinegar. 5. Base, a substance that can neutralize an acid. 6. Acid, a substance that can react with a base to form salt and water. 1. Can you tell me more about? A polite way to ask for more information. 2. Very impressive. A way to show admiration or approval. 3. Speaking of, a phrase used to introduce a related topic. Aiden, what do you think about learning a new hobby this summer? Maybe something creative like painting or playing a musical instrument. I think that would be cool. I've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar. Some of my friends are in a band, and it looks like a lot of fun. Learning to play the guitar is a great idea.
Music can be a wonderful way to express yourself and connect with others. How about we find a beginner's guitar class for you? That would be awesome, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome, Aiden. I'm glad you're excited about it. Remember, learning something new takes time and practice, so don't get discouraged if it feels difficult at first. I'll keep that in mind, Dad. I promise to practice regularly. Let's pause here to discuss some of the important points from this part of the conversation. One, hobby. An activity done for pleasure in one's free time. Two, creative. Using imagination to create something new. Three, musical instrument. A tool used to make music like a guitar or piano. Four, beginner. Someone who is just starting to learn something. Aiden, do you have any other plans for the summer? I was also thinking about joining a sports team, maybe basketball or swimming. Both are great choices. Playing sports is a fantastic way to stay active and make new friends. Do you have a preference between basketball and swimming? I think I'd like to try swimming. I've Always enjoyed being in the water, and it would be nice to improve my swimming skills. Swimming it is, then. It's an excellent full body workout and a valuable life skill. We'll look for a good swimming club nearby. Thanks, Dad. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm glad to hear that, Aiden. It's Important to have a balance between academic and extracurricular activities. It keeps life interesting and fun. You're right, Dad. Thanks for always encouraging me to try new things. Before we wrap up this episode, let's review some more vocabulary and phrases from the conversation. One, sports team, a group of people who play a sport together. Two, active, engaging in physical activity. Three, workout, exercise to improve fitness. Four, extracurricular activities, activities outside of regular schoolwork. One, I was thinking about. A way to introduce an idea or plan. 2. I've always enjoyed. A phrase to express a long-standing enjoyment. 3. Looking forward to. A phrase indicating excitement about. A future event. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Conversations with Kosru. We hope you enjoyed listening to Kasru and Aiden's discussion and found it helpful for improving your English skills. Remember to practice the vocabulary and phrases we've highlighted today. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll dive into more interesting conversations. Until then, keep learning and have a great day.